There's nobody in this industry that's doing what we're doing. This means sequencing for all. That's huge. It allows genetics to really come of age. Our biggest challenge in sequencing the human genome was getting all the data off of one chip. Our first chip, the 314, held over one million wells. The Proton 2 is designed to hold over half a billion wells. The Proton works uh, really at the core by semiconductor sequencing. And the beauty of semiconductor sequencing is it's really as simple as a CMOS chip. You know, every teenager who has a smartphone or camera phone, you've got a little CMOS chip, and that chip has thousands of pixels that measure the intensity of light coming in to generate a photo. But instead of a sensor for light, it's a sensor for chemistry. The beautiful thing about what we're doing is that all the biology happens right on the chip. In essence, the chip is the machine. All the work happens right on the chip. And through that, we're able to actually do sequencing, and we're able to do it fast, we're able to do it cheap. The Proton 2 will sequence a much larger genome, thousands of times more DNA in a few hours. That's the power of semiconductor sequencing. One of the big challenges going from the PGM platform to the Proton platform was just dealing with a thousand-fold increase in data. So we've been able to do that by leveraging the, the latest generation hardware from Intel and others. We're using more cores packed into the instrument itself. We've moved more processing off the instrument and onto the ion chip itself. And we're leveraging the latest in hardware coprocessors to make sure that we're able to quickly process that data and distill it into just the most relevant biological information. All of those things together combine to create a thousand dollar genome in less than a day on a simple benchtop sequencer.